the Tracks Landscape Tutorial. Nothing brings your model railroad more to life than a great landscape. Tracks offers a unique way to create landscapes by painting and sculpting the terrain directly on your screen. This way, you can design a more realistic world for your trains to travel through. To create a terrain, you'll need a table. First, we select a default terrain type on the Scenery tab. Then click the table once to select it. A new tab appears. You'll find it right from the standard tabs. To add terrain to the table, click on the small chain icon in the terrain group. We can add all kinds of terrain types like grass, water, rock, and even snow. Let's start with some rocky terrain in the north. Apply the terrain types using the paintbrush. Just activate it and move your mouse over the table while pressing the left button. The terrain type is blended into the terrain on the table. The more you paint over an area, the more your terrain type will be applied there. With the size field, you can grow and shrink the size of the brush. By lowering the opacity, you can blend two or more terrain types to create smooth transitions. Next, we create a river. And then we'll add some more terrain. To create height, hills, and mountains, Tracks offers the sculpting tools. Click the mountain button to activate sculpting, and start sculpting by moving the mouse over the table and keeping the left mouse button pressed. As you can see, each time you move over an area, it is raised a bit. The amount the terrain is raised is set in the height field. Increasing it will amplify the effect. You can also set it to a negative value for creating holes, craters, or riverbeds. To create a riverbed, we set the sculpting mode to Absolute. This will set the terrain to the specified height and sculpt the riverbed, which is slightly lower than the rest of the terrain. We will now create some random hills. First, turn back to Raise mode and select the random brush type. As you can see, this creates rather random, smaller, and bigger hills. If you want the terrain to be a bit smoother, you can use Equalize mode. And let's sculpt some more to finish the terrain. The end result is a stunning landscape. Of course, there's a lot more you can do using the scenery and other tools. We have some tips. Tip 1. You can adjust the height of the terrain below the tracks. Select some track. In the height group, click the Track to Terrain button. You can also adjust the track height to the terrain height. Tip 2. If you want to add trees, have a look at the scenery objects. Tip 3. When you are happy with the result, you can protect your table from accidentally messing it up by locking it. When you do need some adjustments, just click the lock again to enable painting. That was our introduction to creating terrains in tracks. If you want to learn more, please read the manual. On the Tracks Forum, you can ask fellow model railroaders for help and advice. If anything does not work, please contact us using the contact form.
Thanks for watching this tracks tutorial. 